I got a little wild with Matchmaker this time. I've got extra quilts and extra kits, so keep watching. Hi, it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe and I'm your fabric matchmaker. On today's episode, we have broken all the rules, like we, you know we love to do that, and we have some great fabrics and some great patterns. So let's jump into our first one. Now the first one was sent in by Reba. Now Reba, this is my song. You are playing it. I love this fabric. It's energetic, it's bold, it's got beautiful colors, and it's so much fun. And you know, it's really unique. It has this diagonal wave to it, which I think is very interesting. And you know how there's sound waves and there's light waves? These are joy waves. They've got to be joy waves because look at all of the fun on this fabric. It's just great. Now let's read Reba's story and see what she has to say about this. Reba writes, I bought this fabric because of the vibrant colors that I thought would appeal to kids or babies. I have been sitting on this one for a few years. It's not that I can't find fabric with these colors, but I have never known what to do with the diagonal fabrics, especially busy ones. I have been sewing and making quilts for years, but I need help with a pattern for this one that can show this fabric as a focus piece and not lose the diagonal look. Thanks for your help. Well, Reba, I think we've got something fun that is childlike and youthful and joyful. So I have chosen the Fandango pattern. Now Fandango is from my brand new book, Make It Modern, and it is a great one because what we have here is a half snowball put together with a square and a square. We've got a nice big spot here for that great focus fabric that you have, a little border to break it up, and then these great triangles that will use the fabric as well. So let's put it on the table and let me show you how this is gonna go together with your fabric. So Reba, first I just want to mention that Fandango, like I said, is one of my new patterns from the Make It Modern book. Love this one. It's got a lot of movement, as you can see. And we have it made up in my brand new fabric line. And if you haven't seen the full fabric line, be sure to check out this video up here because it has all of the fabrics and all of the colors shown. So it's just great. Now, we have pulled some great fabrics together for you, Reba. I love this. Now we have put your fabric as the focus fabric. Like you mentioned, we wanna keep it as the focus. And it is gonna go in the square here and on the corners of our half snowball here. Now what this is gonna do, and I'm just gonna move this fabric over for a minute, is you can see that it's gonna go here and it's gonna create that diagonal for you. Well, it's also gonna keep this diagonal going so that you can, it gives that it accentuates it, so to speak, so it's gonna look really great. Now, what we've done here is we have put your fabric with this great polka dot. Now, the polka dot here has all of the colors that your fabric does, so it really kind of gives it that playfulness and it keeps that playfulness. Now, what's a little bit unique about this fabric is it also has a little glow-in-the-dark element, which is perfect for kids, and it keeps that joy and that happiness going. Now our number three fabric is this great green. It picks up the green color in your fabric and this is gonna be everywhere the pink is here and it actually helps border this to kind of give it a little bit of a break between the, the number two and the focus there. So, and of course our number two fabric, our great polka dot will go in this big snowball block here. So it looks really, really fun. Now I wanna show you how the diagonal works in the quilt because it keeps that movement going, that diagonal movement going. And the image is just fabulous. I just love this quilt. Whenever I put it together, I got so excited because really this, this is my thing. I love how fun this is and you can see how great it is. So Reba, for participating today, I'm gonna to send you this great number two that matches, the number three, and I'm also gonna be sending you the book Make It Modern, which has the Fandango pattern in it. Now let's see what we have for everyone else. So we have some equally energetic fabric for you here, and tried to get that diagonal, couldn't quite find it, but I thought this one was fantastic. It has all of the similar colors that Reba's fabric had, and it's just a garden of joy. I just love it. And it's gonna go, once again, everywhere. The green is here, 
And then our number two, and as you can see, it looks like confetti. I like that, that's kind of fun. This is our number two fabric. It's gonna go everywhere the white is on our, our pattern here. And all of the pink and the greens and the grays and the purples all pick up from this fabric. I think it works perfectly. Now we're gonna frame our focus fabric with the purple because I thought that was such a great color. And it's the frame here, and of course on the border. And you can see how great these go together. So these just all coordinate just so, so well. And as you can see from the image on the screen, what a fun quilt. And Fandango's got all of that movement and all that wiggle going on. And it's just perfect for this fabric selection. So let's get you the kit information on this. The number is 8023165. It is called Vibrant Swirls, and the pattern is Fandango from the Make It Modern book. And our alternate pattern that we're suggesting is Easy Street. Now our next participant is Shirley, and Shirley actually sent me two different fabrics that are really pretty and very interesting. The first one she sent is this geisha fabric, and it's the geishas kind of on a picnic, playing their musical instruments here in these gorgeous colors. And I think these colors are very unique for this style of fabric, but really think they're pretty. Now she also sent the secondary fabric here that coordinates perfectly. You can see that all the cherry blossoms here are also in these fabrics here and the parasols and everything and just loved it. Just darling fabric, so pretty. So let's see what Shirley has to say about her fabric here. Shirley writes, I am disabled, so my funds for fabric are limited. I'm also new to quilting. Everything I've learned is self-taught from books like yours. I do have Pretty Darn Quick, Easy Does It, Quilts in a Jiffy, and Quilts on the Double. Planning to buy your Christmas book next. I was blessed to be given some fabric. I don't know if these are 100% cotton or not. How can you tell? I think these fabrics would make a beautiful quilt. I don't know what pattern to use. I have more than one yard of the blue and only one yard of the yellow, but couldn't find any other fabric to go with them. Please, can you help? Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Can't wait until your next video. Love, love, love all of your books and the videos. Well, Shirley, thank you so much for the compliments. Let's look at the pattern that we have chosen for your fabric. Now I have chosen the broad strokes pattern. Now the broad strokes pattern is from the book Quilts on the Double. Now let me just talk a little bit about why I chose it. The first reason is because it has this nice big block here. I really want to show off your geishas in this bigger block. Now it also has a little bit smaller block here, but it's just the perfect size for that parasol fabric. So we're gonna put that in this alternate block. Now let's put it on the table so we can really get an up close look at this. Okay, now Shirley, like I said, I think your fabric is just fabulous. And actually when I first saw it, I thought, well, do I have two focus prints or do I put these together or how do I work this? Well, I ended up being able to put them together because of the broad strokes pattern. I think it works really well. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use your Geisha Girl fabric, this on the blue, as the number one fabric, as the focus, and it's gonna go in this bigger block here. Now that's gonna allow these Geishas to really show up in this area, which is pretty important. Now the number two fabric is going to be your parasol. Your parasol is gonna go everywhere the white and gold is here. And that's gonna give you just a little slice of that so that you can see all of those great cherry blossoms in the parasols that go with your geishas. And these coordinate so perfectly. And let me say, this is really gorgeous. It has just a little bit of metallic on it. And I think it really is pretty. So it's gonna look great there. It's gonna catch a lot of light. Now, what we've done is we have put your two fabrics with this great turquoise. Now, the reason why I chose turquoise is because you can see here how there's some turquoise in your parasol here, as well as some turquoise in the background of your fabric on the number one. That is gonna be these bands of color right here. And what that's gonna do is just kind of scatter that turquoise throughout the quilt and it's going to kind of give it a little bit of a frame so it really highlights your fabrics. Now as I mentioned your fabrics have just a little bit of that metallic 
and the turquoise does not. It has a little bit of texture, so that metallic is really going to shine, and your eye's not going to focus so much on the turquoise. It's just going to be a beautiful frame. Now, as you can see from the image on the screen, how well that was going together. I just think it's beautiful, and I think it's going to be absolutely fabulous once you put it together. Okay, I want to address another question that you had, and that is, how do you tell the difference between 100% cotton for, for quilting and a synthetic fiber? Now, I'm not super knowledgeable about this, so I encourage you to do your research. But what I have been taught is that a natural fiber like cotton will actually burn if you put a flame to it. So if you do this, please be careful and do your research, like I said. Make sure you use a fireproof um, area and things like that. So if you just put a flame to it, it should actually burn and go to ash. If it's a synthetic fiber, then it will melt and it will draw away from the flame. And that is something that will, you can tell the difference. Now, these are gorgeous fabrics and whether these are synthetic or cotton, I would definitely put them in your quilt. I think they'll be fabulous. Okay, Shirley, thank you so much. Now, you mentioned in your letter also that you have the book Quilts on the Double already. So what I have decided to do for, for you participating today is of course send you one yard of your number three fabric but I am going to send you that Christmas book that you mentioned that you were hoping for instead of the double, since you already have that one. And I'm gonna tuck in a little surprise as well. So be on the lookout for that. And thank you so much for sharing your fabric and your story with us. Now let's see what else we have. Okay, so look at this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric that we have for everyone else. Now, I looked long and hard for something that's in that same style. Now, I think this style, forgive me if I mis mispronounce it, is called chinoiserie, and this is really coming back on the scene lately. It's becoming very, very popular, and it's understandable because it's so elegant and luxurious, and it's got all of these touches of gold, it's just beautiful, so I totally get why it's coming back. So what we have here is this gorgeous floral here. This will be in our number one position. And wow, look at all of these just rich colors. Our number two, and this is interesting because it's very similar to the parasol in the sense that it's the same scale. It will go everywhere the white is. Look at all of these great metallic butterflies and the edges there, and it picks up all of the colors in our focus fabric gorgeous. And then our number three is this red. And as you can see, it goes great with the butterfly, goes great with our floral, and the red will go everywhere the band of color is here and on the border to give us a really, really nice frame. So this is fabulous. Love it, love it, love it. And this style of fabric and this fabric, it does, it just kind of feels luxurious, like in that peacefulness. You know, there's this sense that you get whenever you're around some of those styles, those Asian styles like that, that are just amazing. And this definitely has that. So if you look on the screen, you can see the image and how gorgeous it turned out. Broad strokes is the perfect pattern for this to really show off this fabric. Now let's look at the kit information. The number is 8023166. It is called Graceful Pagoda. The kit is broad strokes from the book, Quilts on the Double, and the alternate pattern that we are suggesting is picture perfect. Okay, remember earlier I said I went a little quilt crazy? Well, you're probably thinking, why am I showing you another quilt? And why am I showing you big picture? How does this tie together? Well, I have another a beautiful kit for you that I have put in big picture because it has some fabulous big geishas on it. And I want to share that with you. So I picked big picture for this because it has this really large area for a very large print fabric. This is a great go-to pattern for that type of fabric. It has a great checkerboard border. Now let's go look at the fabric and it's all gonna make sense in a minute. <laughs> okay, so here is our fabric. And like I said, big picture is perfect for something like this because we have one large solid section in the middle. So that if you have a very large scale fabric like we do here, 
it looks gorgeous. So we found these geisha girls and I wanted to bring this in because Shirley's fabric had the geishas on them and I loved them and I really tried so hard to find something similar, but this is the closest I could get. And these ladies are large as far as the scale of the fabric. And I wanted to make sure that we didn't cut them all up so that you couldn't tell it was a beautiful geisha. So this is the focus. It's going to go in the large area here in this center block. Now our number two fabric, oh my goodness, look at this. Is this not beautiful? And what's really cool about this, you see her, I don't know what all of these terms are, but part of her dress here is actually this fabric and so you can tie it together it's just beautiful all of the gold outlines and this is our number two and it's going to go on the borders here and as part of our checkerboard here on the border and then our number three gorgeous gorgeous black with a little gold pin dot now that's going to go on the border and on the places here in our border checkerboard and that's gonna give us that contrast that we need. So you can see the black and the gray together, perfect. And then we have our very large scale geisha, which is beautiful. That's really gonna be shown off in this quilt. And if you look at the image on the screen, you can see how we really needed that large area to really feature these ladies and really show it off and how gorgeous and what a game changer. When you take a quilt like this that is typically done in a different style of fabric and you put something like this large scale geisha fabric in there, how amazing it is and how it changes the game totally. So I just love this, thought it worked beautifully and it really features them. So let's get you the kit information for this. The number is 8023167. The name of the kit is Geisha Beauty. It is the big picture pattern from the book Quilts for Kids. Now our next participant is Susan and Susan sent in this really sweet, it's a panel of this little dog. Now there's a great story that goes with this. So I'm sure that this sweet dog fabric speaks for itself, but let's also see what Susan has to say about this and why this is so special. Susan writes, my husband had a stroke in May and has mild effects from it. He has had many appointments, 200 miles round trip. We are blessed to have this wonderful neighbor who has sent food, keeps an eye on our house, and collects our mail when we are on many trips to the doctor. I would like to make her a quilt. So I found this panel, which is the breed of her little old man dog. I can't seem to find a good match of fabric and pattern I can use with these squares. Any ideas you give me will greatly help me to make this quilt. I will forever be grateful for your help. Well, Susan, let's look at the pattern that we have selected. So I have selected the time machine pattern. Now there's a couple of reasons why I chose this for your panel for your little dog. Now your dog is gonna be placed right in this block here and then we have all of this great movement around this. So you're going to have little places to put your panels there. And it does not use the panel fabric in the border, which is very important to me. So let's put this on the table and let's talk a little bit more about that. Okay, now Susan, here we have your little dog panel, which is just darling. And he is going to go in the focus position in this block here. So for everyone out there, let's just talk about panels for just a moment. Now, Susan sent this in and I kind of have a general measurement of how, how big this is going to be and how much play we have. So I chose Time Machine because it had the appropriate size square. The other thing is I needed a block that could be cut by itself and not included in a strip assembly because when you have a panel, you can't really do a strip assembly in the same way. So make sure that you choose a pattern that has that block that is cut independently and the time machine pattern does that the other things i wasn't a hundred percent sure 
of other colors that might have been in her panel. So Susan, I did go very neutral on this just to give you that flexibility, not being totally sure. So what we've done is we've placed this nice kind of white and light gray in your number two position, and that is everywhere you see this very light purple here. Then our number three position is the darker gray, similar pattern that is gonna go in the darker positions here and on the border here. Now this is going to give you a lot of interest and a lot of movement with your quilt, even though it's all done a little bit monochromatically, but like I said, I wasn't 100% sure of the other colors in your panel. So if anybody out there has a panel and would like to send it in for Matchmaker, the best trick is to send me a little sample like Susan did, but also take a snapshot of the full panel so that I can get a better feel of how to put it in the quilt. Now, earlier I mentioned too that I picked Time Machine because the focus fabric was not in the border. Like I said, when you have a panel, you don't always have that luxury to cut some extra strips from the panel to put on the border. So I made sure that I chose one that used fabrics two and three in the border. So I really think it turned out darling, as you can see on the screen from the image. We've got our, our little old man dog, as Susan put it, and, and all of those great blocks, and then the movement around it is really, really nice. So I hope that works out. Susan, for participating, of course, I'm gonna send you fabrics two and three, as well as the book Easy Does It Three Yard Quilts that has the time machine pattern in it. So we really, really appreciate it. Okay, now like I said early, lots of different quilts in the show. So for everyone else's kit, I have chosen to use Town Square, which I really love because we've got a great big block here and this gray border around it in different fabrics. So let's put it up on the table so that you can see what we've picked for it. All right, Town Square is definitely one of my favorite, favorite patterns because it does have that big block. And look at this, this is like, puppy pile where they're all climbing on you and they're looking and happy and kissing and I just love that. I just think this fabric makes me think of that almost like when you go somewhere and all the dogs run up and love on you. And these are so, so sweet, absolutely precious. All of these different breeds on here, all happy, happy puppies. This focus fabric is gonna go right here in this big block so you can really see it. And then our and number two fabric is the great white and gray. And that is gonna go everywhere this great kind of blue green color is here and on the border. And then our number three is gonna go everywhere this little green floral is here. And you can see these all coordinate so well, picks up all the grays in this. And then the white and gray also picks up the grays. But the main thing that this does is it highlights these cute puppies. It looks like they're on a black and white check background and it looks so darling and really features them. Just absolutely love it. So you can tell by that image just how sweet it is. And seriously, it's like the puppy pile. <laughs> I just love it. They're so sweet. Uh, Okay, I could really get caught up in that because I love that feeling of puppies giving me all kinds of kisses. Okay, let's look at the kit information on this. It is called Pup Pals and the number is 8023168. The pattern is Town Square from the Easy Peasy book. What a fun show that we've had today. We've had just colorful waves of joy and beautiful, elegant geishas and piles of puppies. So if you have a great fabric that you wanna send in and participate in one of our shows, just go to our website, fabriccafe.com, click on the free goodies tab and go to our fabric matchmaker submission form. Uh, please be sure to send in a swatch of your fabric. I prefer a 12 inch if at all possible. And we will do what we can to get that matched up and on air for you. So enjoy today. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Fran Morgan, your fabric matchmaker.